Another important piece of this for education is to move education from just memorizing facts mm -hmm. to getting you excited about learning and also to have you think about how to solve problems because the kinds of problems that you see here are not ones that are simply you know an obvious answer the people here and these are people with years of experience are struggling with how to make this work how to design better wind turbines how to find the solar energy and the more you understand about earth you can find where the regions where there's less cloud cover more solar energy where wind flows through so that's why we do this kind of program very cool um, so we also understand that you, where you work you have a simulator yeah. um, so can you tell us a little bit about your job and how you're use, yeah. you use that well so I'm president of the Challenger Center for Space mm -hmm. Science Education I don't know if you remember when the space shuttle no you that was yeah, before your years but this was so tragic when the yeah, space the shuttle, shuttle had this disaster the families of the astronauts who passed away wanted to keep alive the spirit of exploration in our country. It's so important to do that and we all felt so devastated at this time. So they created this educational program mm -hmm. that now has gone on for 20 years. It's a wonderful program where there's two, there are two rooms. You would come in with your class. Half of you would go into mission control. You'd wear astronaut suits, you'd wear the headset, you'd be the navigation and the communication and so on. The other half would go into the spacecraft where you feel like you're going up to Mars or in Earth orbit and there are all kinds of visuals and robotic experiments you do when you learn about the environment within the spacecraft. Sometimes emergencies happen oh, cool. <laughs> that they might have an oxygen leak and you've got to figure out where it is and you're monitoring the oxygen level as it comes really down cool. so that cool. you become the actual astronauts. So our belief is the more we can make this real and powerful and exciting for you, Mm -hmm. the more it becomes a true experience that challenges the same kind of skills that the astronauts need to have. Very cool. It's really interesting. And so back to this conference, I mean, it's a relatively new conference, I mm -hmm. mean, uh, inv involving like the uh, economy and also just the ecosystem around yeah. us. So, uh, I mean, oh, where where do you hope like this conference is in 20 years? Yeah, well that's a great question. I hope that you two are running it. <laughs> uh, but I, I hope we can look back on this and say what an incredibly vibrant time this was mm -hmm. where all of these people were coming together realizing that we had to change our relationship with home planet Earth. We needed to invent new things mm -hmm. and in my view, we needed to transform education in order for the future to take place like that. I'm one of the few people involved in education at this conference. I came here because I wanted to learn more about what kinds of skills these wonderful people need in order to invent new smart grids in order to understand how to make the um, solar cells more powerful, how to develop new batteries, and all of these kinds of perspectives that enable them to invent new things. And how can we take those skills, those 21st century skills, and put them into schools? So I hope that when we come back here in 20 years, that we say, do you remember how antiquated those schools are when you used to have to memorize things for tests instead of having to solve real serious problems? All right, thank you so much. It was great talking to you. Thank you. This is a thank real you, treat to be interviewed you. I'm so impressed that you've come here. <laughs> thank you. One half mile in altitude at this time. 13 Houston, go at 30 seconds.